We are continuing today with 19 ways to pray, and today is the, the fourth way of praying, um, which is confession of your sins. Um, you know, a, a regular part of your prayer life, a regular part of your day, um, should be the confession of your sins. Um, this is really just a basic part of our relationship with God, where we're acknowledging times when we've failed, times when we've sinned, Sometimes when we've done things wrong and we're going to him and asking him forgiveness for our sins. Um, as human beings, we, we make mistakes. And when we do this, when we go to God and ask for forgiveness, um, it helps us restore our relationship with him. Um, it helps us to experience reconciliation um, with him. And it also allows him to give you um, the grace um, to change, um, the grace to, to grow, um, the grace to overcome a particular sin. And the reality, of course, is like without God's grace, um, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. We just we tend to just go right back to the sin. Um, but with God's grace, as we pray for that grace, as we pray for strength and courage, um, we can overcome the sin. I think one of the mistakes that we make um, is to think, you know, of course, I'm have little sins in my life. Um, who doesn't? You know, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to do a daily examination of conscience and ask God for forgiveness of my sins. Um, it's really not that big a deal. Um, but the truth is um, that smaller sins um, lead to bigger sins, and big, bigger sins um, lead to mortal sins or deadly sins. Um, in First John chapter five, um, he talks about deadly or mortal sins. And these are big sins, right? Like murder, for instance. Usually, um, somebody doesn't just wake up in the morning and go murder someone, right? Um, it's usually a progression of oh, that happens over time. Um, there's lots of sins that led up to that big sin. And that's just how it works. That's how we work as human beings. So if you are able to stop it at the beginning, if you're able to stop it with um, being you know, jealous or angry or frustrated with someone in a smaller way, um, then it's not going to lead to um, this bigger sin in the future. And so that's um, one of the reasons that traditionally um, all the, many of the saints and spiritual directors um, would recommend um, doing what's called a daily examination of conscience. Um, a lot of times you would do this at the end of your day, uh, maybe even before you go to bed. Um, it's a way to maybe get rid of the dirt and the grime and the smell of sin. And it's a way to open yourself up to God's mercy and forgiveness and love. Um, so it's a very healthy thing to do. And maybe just to describe what that could look like just briefly, um, a little method for doing that. Um, first, you would just examine your conscience. Um, you're examining the last 24 hours, maybe, or just maybe that particular day, and you're saying to yourself, you know, where did I fail during this day? Um, where did I sin? Where do I need where, where do I need to ask God forgiveness um, for things that I've done in my life? I mean, you could ask yourself these kind of simple questions, which is, um, where have I lo- where have I not loved God um, today? Where have I not loved others um, today? Where have I not loved myself today? And in addition to that, um, when have I not allowed God to love me today? When have I not allowed others to love me today? And there's lots of other questions you could ask yourself. Um, but if you just ask yourself those five questions, um, you, would, you would get pretty far. And as you start to realize maybe some of the ways you've sinned, um, what we want to do is just cultivate a sense of contrition. Um, a sense of, of, of sorrow for our sins. Um, it's actually a grace to have sorrow for your sin. Um, God wants to give us that grace of sorrow for our sins. And even though that doesn't feel good, um, it is good. And even though it feels sor- sorrowful or even painful, um, it leads to, to good things in our life. Um, another way to say this is that God would give us contrition, um, that God would give us a sense of um, repentance. And 
And so we have this sense of um, repentance and sorrow and contrition um, for what we've done. And then you actually confess the sin itself. And um, maybe out loud, and maybe within your heart, um, asking God to forgive you for that particular sin or for whatever sins you've identified. And as you're doing that, um, and when you kind of come to completion with that, um, it's also just good to consciously make the choice um, to forgive yourself as well. Um, it's interesting if you are asking God for forgiveness for all these things, um, and you, you basically believe that he's forgiven you, you know, he's forgiving you, of, of course he is, right? Um, but then kind of at the same time, you're not forgiving yourself for those sins. Um, it's like you're putting a wall around your heart, and you're not really receiving God's mercy and forgiveness. Um, Jesus says if we don't forgive um, others, we're not going to be forgiven. And if we don't forgive ourselves, um, it's hard to receive um, God's love and mercy and forgiveness. So to consciously um, choose to forgive yourself and then to receive um, God's forgiveness, God's mercy, to consciously receive um, God's forgiveness and mercy. And finally, at the end, maybe there's a resolution um, to change. Uh, maybe there's a practical way to avoid this sin. Uh, maybe there's ways in which you can not place yourself in the occasion of that sin. And so at the end of this process, um, you do that as well. Um, just a, a quick note, you know, of course, um, we also, if we're Catholic, we want to go to sacramental um, reconciliation, sacramental confession. Um, it's good to make a habit of doing that at least once a month um, or even more if you feel like you need that. Um, so that's a kind of a separate thing, um, but these two work together, the, the daily examination of conscience and the monthly um, sacramental confession. And we actually want to do both. And, you know, again, spiritual directors um, recommend that. I, as a spiritual director, recommend that. And we see this in the lives of the saints as well. Um, so today we're, we're just looking at what it would mean to daily um, confess your sins, to daily do an examination of conscience.